Hello, everybody, and welcome to our episode review of Star Wars Visions Episode 6, T-O-B-1, or Toby-1, or Toby, however you want to say it. Uh, it's a it's a good episode here, and before we get into it, as always, hit that like button down below, comment below, let us know what you thought of this episode as well, and you should subscribe to the channel for the rest of our Star Wars Visions coverage. We'll be covering a lot of Star Wars Vision stuff over the next few weeks and days, so... You'll definitely want to stick here for all your Star Wars Visions coverage. But getting into this episode, uh, this is a good one. It's This one shocked me how much I enjoyed it. Again, it's not um, anything super revolutionary. It's not. It's definitely an Astro Boy uh, in Star Wars clone. It is not uh, anything that's going to knock your socks off and go, oh my God, like Visions is the greatest thing ever. But it is a nice piece in this overall uh, collection of short stories, it really it's a good transition from this to the next episode, which is the Elder, uh, or from the last episode to the Elder. It's an, it's a nice um, of all the stories that are kind of more fun or entertaining. I felt like this one had more heart to it than those. I, I would put it a step above something like the Twins or uh, Bo, oh, Bohemian Rhapsody, Tatooine Rhapsody, uh, because it has. It has a nice heart and core to a story. There is a, an arc for our character. There are characters that you can get attached to. And I love the visual style. And to me, this was one of the most striking episodes. Uh, the use of white in this, white and light blue, like a cyan blue, really, really works. It, the planet itself looks really cool. I like the grain that they kind of used on this episode as well for the sand style. And um, it really looks like a tattoo, like a really bright white Tatooine. Uh, the structures of the buildings as well. Uh, we do get uh, some other callbacks, like we get uh, a T-16 in the in the basement. Um, we get some good lightsaber action. There's some cool fights. There's obviously not... Um, there's not too much of a story here. Like, all of it takes place on one planet, and it is very much so a character story with, uh, with Toby-1 uh, that focuses on his growth and him realizing dreams that he has and it's 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 a it's younger more kitty star wars type story of themes but it works well for adults too it's it's visually striking and i think that was the thing i took most out of this was i couldn't really keep my eyes off of it it's, it moves well the action's really good and they do a lot of cool things with um with the visuals that kept me intrigued and it is one of the shorter episodes so you're if you're looking for something that is just purely good looking and, and with a basic enough story that everyone would like, uh, Toby one is your episode. This is also made by science Saru, which I forgot to mention at the beginning. And they made two episodes for visions. Yeah. I mean, after like the climb of like the mythology of village bread and then the amazing pilot that is the Ninth Jedi of a whole new era of Star Wars. Oh, I mean, it's 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 easy to say that Toby One isn't anywhere near their level, and it's not, it's not. But it's really cute and it's really endearing. Um, I mean, there's some cool in, in things like with the Inquisitors, um, kind of being brought into here. Um, I just like seeing droids be more than just side characters and you know dependent on someone else and this kid is really like you said astro boy um he's really connected to the star wars mythology just with a paint coat but like it's still very much an astro boy um and then there's like the whole thing about him kind of being named after obi-wan which makes him a little bit more appealing it's very bright colors but I mean, the story that he's part of is that he starts off in and then enters into is really good. There's this armless Jedi who's just trying to, you know, convert this bright white sand planet back to like a nat natural state. And this kid, is, you know, he's helping, but he's like, I'm, I want more for my life and all this and that. And then, you know, he kind of, kind of grows to an understanding of like why this is important for his master. And then the whole, you know, attack happens as master dies protecting him while he's hidden away. And, you know, it's, it's interesting because he's not necessarily just a droid. He's like cybernetically a droid. So he feels like he has some humanness or some species as part of him um, that lets him be connected to the force. Um, 
And I mean, he's enduring. He fights. He helps help convert the planet. Looks cute. The droid that he has is as his little friend is. I mean, buddy, buddy. I loved it. Um, and like even the fighting was pretty good, honestly, for being how kitty it, looking it was, and the designs were very like happy and joyfulish. Um, I would say that the part where he kind of combines with his droid and gets like a weird like jetpack. I like I, the one thing like that anime and mangas had forever is mecha and i mean i mean look american audiences know that with transformers and all that but then there's things like gundam and evangelion and gluon lagan it it is every decade has one big mecha and uh story coming out and i was worried that they're going to do that and i guess this is like the taste of like what they could do i just don't think fighting large humanoid robots a thing in star wars it's just someone could just use the force and disconnect the cable man i'm just saying like it's you really are just target the weak point it's that's yeah i don't know it just doesn't really seem like that's the thing that fits in star wars but the little thing that he does was like so kind of fun to see like him getting a little tiny power up and working together and his banter with all the little droids and then finally leaving for his adventures so you know you know understanding people who cared for you understanding you know, help that you can't just help yourself you have to help others too who need it and duty and responsibility are things that are necessary to become a jedi and all that so i like i like those messages if it comes up very cutesy but yeah i mean it was good it was fun i had a good time watching it yeah definitely with you there it's uh it's more entertaining than you probably think from seeing the images and if you're somebody who's like putting off watching this um definitely give it a shot because it is it will probably be your kid's favorite, but you'll also enjoy it as well. Like it, it, yeah. it looks amazing and it has an interesting, you know, universal story that really translates well. And, and yes, we've seen it before, but it is, it is, it's just nice. It's a nice episode. It's, it's not anything too crazy, uh, but it has that, that character focused core, which makes it to me a little bit more powerful or more uh, entertaining than something like the twins or uh Tatooine Rhapsody. So that's our thoughts on Toby One, the sixth episode of Star Wars Visions. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hit that like button down below, comment below, let us know what you thought of Toby One and any of the other Star Wars Visions episodes or Star Wars Visions as a whole. Subscribe to the channel for more Star Wars Visions coverage. And then, as always, three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Check all our videos out as they're coming out on those days. Wednesdays are comic reviews. Uh, and uh, Follow us on social media at Star Wars Lads on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for episode seven, The Elder Review, coming soon. Mm -hmm.